If you want to boost your FPS from this to this, in today's video, we're testing a new Roblox performance booster called Frost Traps and seeing if it can actually improve PC performance while playing Roblox. I've tested Blockstrap before, but this one is new and claims to be a real game changer. So without wasting any time, let's dive in. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for optimization of your ping while you playing Roblox. Using a wired or wireless connection, get this paid program for free from my description and enjoy your game with lower ping. Frost Straps is a new launcher for Roblox. If you've used Roblox boosters before, you might have seen tools like block straps, fish straps, or void straps. These are all made to help your game run faster. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now, we're going to use this new launcher to change how Roblox runs. It's made to boost FPS, reduce lag, and fix stuttering, especially if your computer isn't very strong. First, download the Frost Straps launcher from the FPS Boost Pack. After it finishes downloading, run the installer and install the program. Once that's done, go to your Windows search bar, type Frost Straps, and open it when it appears. When the app opens, click on the button that says Configure Settings. Inside the Frost Straps window, go to the Bootstrapper tab and scroll down until you find a feature called Cleaner. The cleaner removes things like old logs and extra files that aren't needed. This can help save space and might even reduce lag. I used the cleaner and it deleted a bunch of files like logs from older Roblox sessions. It's made to do this about every two months. This is a cool feature that other Roblox launchers didn't have. It seems really useful and I want to see how it helps long term, especially with loading times and saving storage. Now click on the Flash Flags tab. This is where we can make big performance changes. First, we need to make sure Roblox uses our actual graphics card, GPU, and not the basic Microsoft driver. I selected my GPU and turned on the setting called Force Logical CPU Cores. I set it to use 8 cores, which is good if your system is mid-range or better. Next, let's change the display refresh rate. I use a 120Hz monitor, but I changed it to 144Hz to simulate how Roblox would run on a higher refresh rate. This can trick Roblox into giving higher frame rates. Now go to the 3D Graphics section. You'll see options like Anti-Aliasing Shadows Terrain, Textures Grass. For better, FPS, I use these settings, set Anti-Aliasing to 2x, turned off shadows, turned off terrain, textures, turned off grass, set frame rate, limit to unlimited, turned on gray sky to save performance. After doing this, I noticed the game was already running smoother and loading into games faster. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping for Roblox. So first download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Roblox or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now go to Unified Rendering Modes and Graphics. This part has a new rendering option called Unified Phase 4. It's like an updated lighting system for Roblox. You can choose from Vulkan, OpenGL, or Metal, depending on what your PC supports. Since I'm testing this on a mid-range computer, I picked Vulkan. After turning on Vulkan, Roblox loaded faster. Menus opened quicker. Moving around in the game felt smoother. I'll keep testing to see how input delay and FPS hold up during longer play sessions. Now let's move to the System tab. There are some useful options here. Bypass Vulkan GPU. Checks optimize memory for low-end PCs. Optimize light rendering. I turned all of them on to see how well Roblox runs on low-end settings. There's also a setting called Dynamic Resolution, DSR. I tested this at 1080p with 4x scaling. The graphics looked a bit worse, but the game ran smoother, which is perfect for weaker PCs. 
Now go to the Rendering and Graphics settings. This section has more advanced options like DX11, BGRA support, potential graphics. I turned on DX11 for faster rendering. I didn't really know what BGRA does, so I left it on just to test. There's also texture skipping. I set it to 4X and it made the game look very low quality, but the FPS boost was real. This setting is really helpful if your PC is super low end and you just want Roblox to run better, even if the graphics look bad. Now let's go to the network and input delay tweaks. I turned on these settings. Disable Roblox telemetry, Roblox core optimization, large reads, write speed boost, faster loading. When I tested these on a slow hard drive, the loading into games was definitely faster. There's also a setting called buffer length. I set it to 1480 for my test. Next, go to the Fast Flags Editor tab. You'll see some options like See Total Flags, Export JSON, and Copy or Delete Presets. Click the button that says I know what I'm doing, then click on Add New. Now open the text file that came with the FPS Boost Pack. This file has Roblox settings that help with boosting FPS fixing lag, reducing stutters. Even low-end PCs can benefit from these. Copy all the text from that file Go back to Frost Straps and paste it into the Fast Flags section. Click OK, and if a pop-up asks to confirm, click Yes. Now go to the Appearance tab. I picked the classic dark theme because it's easier to look at during long sessions. There are also color options, but these don't affect performance, they're just for looks. After doing all of this, save your settings and launch Roblox. Here's what I noticed while playing. Roblox started and loaded faster. FPS was more stable even in heavy games. There was less stuttering and input delay. The graphics looked worse with performance settings, but the game was still smooth and playable. The cleaner feature helped remove junk files, which should help long-term storage performance. If you're using a low-end or budget PC, Frost Straps is super helpful. It brings together all the settings from older tools and even adds some new features like the cleaner and unified renderer. Thanks a lot for watching this full breakdown and test of Frost Straps. If it helped you, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and drop a comment to let me know what settings worked best for you. See you in the next one.